everyone and welcome. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video. I was tagged by Michelle of the Mickey Midge podcast um, to do the Crochet Goals 2018. Emma, please, not so loud. I'm not going to lie, I've kind of been waiting for someone to tag me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm watching everybody's like Crochet Goals videos and I'm like, oh my god, tag me, tag me, tag me. Um, oh no, I missed it. Okay, hold on. Okay, so, crochet goals. So, as you can see, we call in my little dingy. Uh, my kids are here in the room with me. No, you can't have that quite yet. Here, crochet hook. How about that? Ooh, yes. Um, no, 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 not the whole basket. Um, so, yes, as you can see, kids here crying in all its glory, and it's the middle of a Tuesday. So, yes, <clears throat> this is going to be quick, hopefully. Um, no, it's okay. It's okay, Leah. Um, so, let's get started. Number one, which of your whips are you most looking forward to finishing first in 2018? Um, I won't say, well, it says first, but, um, no, 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 you can't do that to my sweater. You'll mess up the sweater. Um, I won't say first, but the one I'm most looking forward to finishing in general is my supernatural blanket. I am, I want to finish that sucker so bad. Ow, 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 ow. No hitting. Um, so I'm look, most forward, looking forward to, um, Finishing my Supernatural Blanket. Um, two, which project are you most excited about starting in 2018? Um, I would have to say, no, I know you want the candle, but you can't play with flames. It's hot. It burns. It's probably like a cardigan or a sweater is what I'm most looking forward to try. <laughs> I have a little monkey. Um, huh, you're just being a little monkey. Monkey, monkey. Um, so that or like a mandala madness type blanket. Um, I think they're gorgeous and intricate, and I just love the way they look when they're finished. I mean, I've seen people do miniature version, like micro versions. I've seen huge blankets, and they all end up looking gorgeous. So, number three, are there any new crochet stitches, techniques you would like to try in 2018? Yes. I want to learn more Tunisian crochet stitches, and I also want to learn hairpin lace. It looks kind of tricky, and I feel like this year I want to challenge myself. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, so, now that I'm back. And I got my kids a little uh, chocolate. Um, Emma, not that one, please. That's really loud. Okay. This year, I feel like with crochet, I really want to challenge myself to do new stitches, things that on average seem advanced or, you know, difficult. So that's my goal. Will you be participating in a Cal in 2018? Well, I'm running one right now, and, <laughs> you know, it has not been the smoothest, and I kind of, I, in my podcast, I kind of ripped the uh, designer a new one, <laughs> and I probably shouldn't have. I was just, like, I was having a rough week, and I've had people writing me like hey does this look right um I'm having issues and then in the group everyone was having issues oh my goodness chocolate mouth <laughs> so it was just kind of overwhelming and I was getting frustrated because you know I was kind of beating myself up a little bit about it but anyways that was not the question cows um there is actually quite a few going on right now and none of them so far has struck me as something I want to do. I mean, they look fun and stuff, but I don't know. Hopefully there's something that comes along the way that I want to do. Um, 
I hope that I can do a cow sometime this year. Um, yeah. So hopefully there's one that I like that I'll do. Um, number five, do you have any yarn goals of 2018? Um, I know the popular answer lately has been to not buy any more yarn and to use stash yarn. And if I said that, I would be lying because I love buying yarn. Um, so my yarn goal is actually to buy more yarn. <laughs> my goal is to increase the amount of wool that I have, which I know I've talked about this on a previous, I think I've talked about this on a podcast, like New Year's resolutions. Um, so <clears throat> increase the amount of wool that I own and also increase the amount of Indie Dyer yarn, you know? I think what they do is great. It's fantastic. The fact that they can make these beautiful skeins of yarn in their house, mainly in their kitchens, like that's insane. Like some of these things, I'm just like, I can't even begin to process how they even make it. So I definitely want to invest some money into indie dyed yarn for sure and getting more wool trying new fibers like alpaca and um mohair you know different types of wool so that's another thing is trying different fibers of yarn um six which crochet project would you like to see more of in 2018 graph I know I'm totally biased and I don't care. I want to see people do more graph cans. I mean, whether they're my patterns or not, I just think they are just so fun to look at and to do. And I know when you haven't done one before and you watch the YouTube, the YouTube tutorials on how to do one, it can seem kind of daunting and like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? But once because I was the same way. I was just like, I don't understand. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it and see how it goes. And once I started, it totally made sense on where to put yarn in, where to take yarn out, you know, everything. It just, it made sense once I started. And I think that's the biggest hurdle is just starting. Um, but yeah, that is definitely something I want to see more of is that. Um... Let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's see. Seven, shout out to fellow crocheter who you were excited to watch in 2018. Um, so like I've said before, this whole podcast community is... Colin. This whole podcast community is very new to me. Like, I've only been watching podcasts for three, three and a half months. <clears throat> so I'm very new to this. <laughs> you're excited I'm still very new to the whole podcast scene and I am watching like the big ones in the crochet community I guess so you know there's like Zines and Roger there's Claudia from uh, Luna Crochet there's Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet Crochet Circle with Faye um, so I love watching all of those and there are so many new smaller ones that are just starting that I've noticed like within the last week or two that have started and I think that's totally awesome. So um, the ones that I'm looking forward to is Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet because me and her have similar tastes in what we like to do. Um, so... I love watching her, although her color palettes are way brighter than me. <laughs> she is pink everything, where I'm like purple everything. <laughs> um, the next one would be Zines and Roger, just because I love her designs. And her color palettes are beautiful that she picks. Um, so that's another one. And one that's new that has like only five episodes is Hooked on Owls. She, um, her name is Lacey, and she is super down to earth Mom, and super cool. Yes. Do you want to kiss and get some more? No, I'm going to be, I'm almost done. Once I'm done, I'll make you SpaghettiOs like you asked. Yay. Um, Lacey from the Hooked on Owls podcast. She does knitting and crochet, 
And I, she's just so cool. She's so down to earth. Like, she's one of those people that you want to be friends with. Um, so, yeah. She's another person I'm looking forward to watching. Um, oh, my thing turned off on me. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Number eight. Are there any projects that you made in 2017 that you would like to make again in 2018? Yes. The Aragenia shawl is by far, hands down, my favorite shawl that I've made and one of my favorite projects. Shh, hold on, Lily. So that is, I will definitely be making another one and hopefully finishing the border with having enough yarn. So that is one that I really want to redo and the big cable mittens. Uh, I would like to have them in another color, like a dark gray or even a red. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. You can play with the Legos. Um, let's see. I believe the next one. Oh, tag someone. So I'm going to tag Lacey from the Hooked on Owls podcast. <coughs> and because I don't think she's done it yet. And Ella from No Catchy Name Crochet. Um, there are so many new podcasts that have come out that I'm really looking forward to seeing. And I'm loving that people are doing crochet podcasts. Like everyone's kind of, we're getting a bandwagon going and people are hopping on. So I'm really looking forward to seeing who else starts one. And, you know, yeah, those, I'm, I'm super excited. Even though I've, I'm very new to the podcast community and I'm not very known, I think. I still got, you know, I don't even have 400 subscribers, so <laughs> I think I'm still pretty dang new. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm not going to keep you any longer because, like I said, my, my daughter wants SpaghettiOs. <laughs> um, so I will let you all go and I will see you on Sunday.